Benchmarking Watchdog Legion on an i5-6500 with an MSI B150i Gaming Pro motherboard with 8GB of DDR4 running at 2133MHz. The GPU is a Dell OEM GTX 1070. For storage there is a 1TB SSD from Silicon Power. The power supply is the Corsair TX 650W and everything is housed inside the Sama Max Cool case. Anyway, let's open Watch Dogs Legion and get started. Alright, before I do the in-game benchmark, let us take a look at the settings that I have it set at. So last time in the whole entire benchmarks overview video that I did, I had the settings set too high, and that got, I think, an average of 48 FPS, so I want to see if I can get over 60, so instead of setting it high, I set it at medium, and because I adjusted the depth or uh, motion blur and bloom off, it changed it to custom, so I did set it to medium first, and then change these down here. Ray tracing, obviously off, and then a bunch of these either off, medium, some of these high, because, well, that's what the game thinks it should be set at. Full screen, 144 hertz, V-Sync off, and then FOV is at 70. I would probably put that up if I was actually playing for real. But anyway, let us run this benchmark. All right, first couple scenes here. What are we doing? 50s? Almost getting up to 60s. I think it should, it should go up to 60. Yeah, there we go. Seventies. Ooh, this is probably the way to play. All right, that seems to be a much better than having the settings at high. What do we get? Max 91, average 56. So not as much as I thought. We would get at least one of that 60. Minimum 30 FPS, 1% lows 39, and 0.1% lows 31. That's really good, actually. That means the dips aren't going to be too dramatic. You can see there that our CPU load is at 100%. So the CPU automatically already is going to be a bottleneck for the system. And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to probably see in the gameplay. But anyway, let's get on to the gameplay and see how that's like. All right, what are we getting? F uh, this I think like, this rain is actually affecting this quite a bit. I mean, the poor CPU. Okay, it is at 85, 80s, 90s. I guarantee as soon as you start driving, you go up to 100 because of the physics of a car. And um... Just ready, running around here with the lighting and stuff. I'm noticing that the 0.1% lows aren't dipping too bad, but as we load in a new area, I guarantee it's going to get more extreme. This is kind of hard to drive at 30 FPS. Boy, this is a fast car. Let me get it. Let me get it. Excuse me, sir. Or ma'am, I want your car. Thank you. We're gonna see the FPS probably tank right here. 30s. Oh, oh my goodness. 30s. Yep. <laughs> this car is a little bit too fast to even control. 27. Yeah. Drop right there. Yeah, that rain. I'm gonna have to try it at low settings, see what it does. Because I thought it would have been okay, because in the benchmark right there, I mean, it was like 50s. I was thinking, oh, well, that's easy, but definitely playable in the in the actual game. It's, it's not. Honestly, it does not feel quite as nice. Now, I know some people are like, 30 FPS is fine. I can easily play at 30 FPS. I'm not, I'm kind of a 60 FPS all or nothing. If I can't get that, I'm probably not even going to play. I think I might have to switch it to low and uh, see what we can get. I'll do a benchmark gameplay, so let's uh, switch it to low. All right, switch everything to low, as you can see right here. And uh, let's do the benchmark. Honestly, I'm, there's probably not even a difference. Maximum of 80, average 53. Is that not like the same or worse? Minimum 33. I can't, I can't remember. I'm gonna have to put those up side by side right there for you guys. 1% lows and 0.1% lows, I believe were better. CPU load as, oh 92. So that actually did help. Then I actually might drastically help out the FPS during the gameplay. I, I'm actually guarantee it will because it'll be able to give more frames to the GPU to render, meaning a higher frame rate. So let's get into the gameplay. Okay, I'd, I'd say it feels... Honestly, well, this, with this rain, it, it feels a little bit better, but, um, yeah, it, it feels better. It feels a little bit smoother, I'd say. 
It'd be really weird if it actually turned out to be exactly the same and it was just a placebo effect. And uh, just because I think it's set on low, meaning it's doing better. But anyway, let's hop into a car and drive around. Uh, this feels a little bit better. Now it's up at the 40s, high f or low 40s. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, it does drop the whole way down to the 20s. Come on. That's probably... CP is not even at 100%. Utilization. What is... Come on. Come on, game. You're better than this. I know you are. And the GPU is not even above like 50% most of the time. Definitely CPU bottlenecks here. All right, 27s. Man, if this rain would go away, I guarantee you would go up to like 35 probably when I'm driving around. You know, maybe this hardware is just a little bit too old for this game. Maybe there's bad utilization of the hardware, you know? Sometimes that can actually be the developer's fault. Like, for instances, with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I just put out that video, and somebody in my comment section said that there was an issue with Intel CPUs being like, I don't know, they're something, I forget exactly what was saying, it was said, but it seemed like the FPS had dropped by like 40% or 40, 40 frames from what it used to be. And so I might have to redo that one after they fix that, after they have a patch, so... It honestly could be just the game and not honestly the hardware itself, but it's it's almost seem it's seeming like the the CPU is definitely bottlenecking this whole entire system. Yeah, well, it looks like this has been Watch Dogs Legion on an i5 6500 and a GTX 1070. It looks like low settings is probably going to be the way to go, honestly. And uh, yeah, that's how I would play it, honestly. If you want a little bit of better FPS or worse FPS, but the game looks better than go with medium, I guess. You can also try high, which I don't know why the low settings aren't way better than the medium or high but it's just i guess the game how the game is set up anyway that's pretty much it hopefully this helped you in some way and um if you have any suggestions comments be sure to leave them in the comment section down below that's pretty much it thanks for watching and maybe i'll see you in the next one